Hi friends, today we are going to see that how a negative number is been represented in a DSP algorithm. Now for a negative number, okay, uh, we will always concentrate on uh, and now onwards on fractions. So we will be dealing with fractions only because of the fixed point uh, limitation. Okay, so I will be taking negative fractional numbers. Okay, so the negative numbers are represented using three basic ways. The first method or the first way is called as sine and magnitude. Okay, second is called as one's complement. And the third is called as two's complement. So we have three basic methods or ways to uh, represent a negative number. First is sine and magnitude, second one, one's complement and third one is the two's complement. Okay, now let us see the first one. The first one says as sine and magnitude. So in sine magnitude form, the negative number is represented using a sine bit and a magnitudes. For example, let's say I have a number called 7 by 8, which is positive. Of course, I'll take a positive number and I'll take a negative number. Let's say the number is minus, uh, plus 7 by 8 and I'm representing using 4 bits. Okay. 4 bits after the fractional, uh, after the decimal uh, or let's say, oh, total 4 bits. Let's, let's represent it using total 4 bits. So I have 7 by 8, I'm representing using 4 bits. Then the fractional number for 7 by 8 is 0 0.111. Okay, fixed point I'm saying, 0 0.111. I'm taking the example of fixed point only. I'm not considering the floating point right now. So it is 0 0.111. Okay, now in 0 0.111, this bit represents the sign also. Okay, if you see this is my binary point, of course, okay. After binary point, I will have the first digit as 1 by 2, next digit as 1 by 4 and last digit as 1 by 8, correct? If you add them together, denominator will be 8, here you will get 4, here you will get 2, so 4 plus 2 plus 1 will be 3, uh, sorry 7, so 7 by 8, correct. So this bit now denotes my sign. Now how this bit is rep uh, representing sign is, if suppose I have a 0 in this bit position, then the number is a uh, positive number. If there is a 1 in that sign bit, then the number is negative, okay? So similarly, I can also write sev minus 7 by 8 using 4 bits as how? What change I need to make? I need to write it as 1.111. So this is my sign bit. So what 1.111 denotes? 0 0.111 is a magnitude. And because the first bit is 1, that's why it's a negative number. So it shows a minus 7 by 8. So if the sign bit is 1 or the MSB is 1, then we will treat that number as a negative number. If the MSB is 0, then I will treat that number as a positive number. Okay, so whenever I do an algorithm using sign and magnitude form, I will check the MSB. If the MSB is 1, the number is negative. If the MSB is 0, the number is uh, positive. Okay, so this is how we consider it to be sign magnitude. So 1 bit is a sign bit. Okay, we call it a sign. And what is the magnitude? Magnitude is 0 0.111, that is 7 by 8. So 7 by 8 is the magnitude and minus is represented using this 1. So this is how we represent a sign and magnitude bit. Let us go ahead and see how to represent a one's complement. Now in one's complement, 
okay the positive numbers are denoted very similar to that of or the same as that of a uh, sin and magnitude so suppose i again take the example of 7 by 8 using four bits the 7 by 8 number will be 0 0.1111 same as that of sin and magnitude okay but if i wanted to represent minus 7 by 8 then what is the magnitude of this number the magnitude of this number is 0 0.111 okay because we want a minus one what we do in ones complement is complement each bit okay so what i'll do wherever there is zero i will put one and wherever there is one i'll put zero so the new number will be 1.000 so this is when i do a ones complement okay how we perform ones complement if i take ones complement then i will just inverse or revert the bit okay if it is zero i'll put it one if it is one i'll put zero that is called as ones complement i will complement the numbers once okay so this is how we represent a number a negative number in uh, ones complement method just uh, revert the bit the final method which is two's complement method which is the most uh, usable and appropriate method that is two's complement method in two's complement method again 7 by 8 if i pick which is positive of course it will not change anything because the number is the same so it will be 0 0.1111 nothing changed now i wanted to represent minus 7 by 8 again using four bits how will i represent minus 7 by 8 using four bits is first we will go for the two's complement to go to two's complement first we need to perform one's complement okay so first i will write the magnitude part so the magnitude of this is 0 0.111 this is what this is the magnitude of the number what part only this much part has been sufficed now i need to bring that minus into picture for the minus into picture the first step that we do is one's complement so what is one's complement one's complement is just we need to revert the bit positions so wherever there is zero i'll put one wherever there is one i will put zero correct this is one's complement and finally we will go to two's complement how we perform two's complement is we need to add to this number one okay and what is the answer 0 plus 1 it will be 1 okay 1 plus uh, then 0 0 0.1 so 1 point 0 0 1 is the twos complement so we have seen uh, that with respect to minus again this minus okay so this is minus 7 by 8 2's complement so 1.001 .001 represent minus 7 by 8 okay if you see carefully everywhere the msb is changing its point if it it for it uh, it was for for positive number it was uh, 0 0.111 and for negative it was one point some other number this is not 7 by 8 by any chance this is not 7 by 8 so 7 by minus 7 by 8 now if you take its binary to decimal conversion this will give me 1.001 so 2 raised to minus 1 2 raised to minus 2 this will be 2 raised to minus 3 which is 1 by 8 so 1 point uh, or 0 0.125 so it will be 1.125 this will be the uh, decimal equivalent of this number but you you don't need to use this decimal equivalent why because this decimal equivalent is not this you cannot have this number okay so what i need to do i need to go reverse okay i need to just first revert this by using one's complement then add one and i'll get minus seven by eight back okay so this is how we perform two's complement so in two's complement i have three steps first find the magnitude second uh, do one's complement by just flipping the bits 0 to 1, 1 to 0 and then add that flipped uh, version number with 1 okay and the answer is a 2's complement 
number. So this is how we represent a uh, sine magnitude, two's complement and one's complement number. Just quickly, we will see the uh, the comparison of three numbers. These are certain binary numbers that I have written over here. And what are their representation in sine magnitude, two's complement and one's complement, we will see in a bit detail. So, if consider the first number that is 0 0.111, if I use sine and magnitude, of course it will be 7 by 8, two's complement 7 by 8, one's complement also 7 by 8. Nothing to be changed with respect to the positive number. 0 0.110 which represents 6 by 8, 6 by 8, 6 by 8. Then I have taken a condition that 0 0.001 again 1 by 8, 1 by 8, 1 by 8. So all the representations are following the same method as that of sine magnitude. Okay. So if it is a positive number, all three representation gives the same digits or bits. But let us come to a very special case that is 0. In sine magnitude now 0 0.000 stands for 0. 2's complement also 0, 1's complement also 0. But if I write 1.000, what does it represent? In sine magnitude, the MSB is 1, the fraction is 0. When the fraction is 0, I will write it as 0, isn't it? And 1, because 1 in the MSB, I will consider it to be minus. So it is minus 0. Now, the very big problem has occurred. You have got two zeros in the number. One is plus 0 and one is the minus 0 okay so this is not actually a very good representation of a negative number okay or very good representation of a number where you are getting two zeros one is positive 0 one is a negative 0 but in normal mathematics 0 is 0 we don't call 0 as plus 0 and minus 0 but using sine magnitude if I use sine magnitude in my algorithm I need to take care of this plus 0 and minus 0 okay then for two's complement it is what minus 1 see now the difference has occurred why it is minus 1 okay let us solve this y as 1.000 gives me minus 1 so 1.000 take its ones complement when i take ones complement it becomes 0 0.111 when this has occurred when i take the uh, ones complement okay then i will add one to this number when i add one to this number it becomes zero one okay uh, then uh, zero one carry zero one carry and one okay this this step is now this answer is two's complement okay so now when i perform the reverse order i know the magnitude is one but because I perform two's complement, it is minus one. Agreed. So when I start with 1.000, the answer is minus one. Okay. Let us come back and see what number one's complement give. One's complement has given me from 1.000 to 0 0.111. Correct. Because the first bit was one and I'm complementing them all, then, then the representation will have a minus sign and 0 0.111 is a magnitude of 7 by 8 so minus 7 by 8 for 0 0.111 that is a magnitude and the sign is uh, minus because there was a 1 over here okay so it is like minus 7 by 8 so can you see that a one binary representation 1.000 have three different numbers in three different uh, uh, methods. We have minus zero, we have minus one, and we have minus seven by eight. One more special case where I want you to look at is this one. It's a very interesting case where we have 1.111. Of course, 1 1.1 is in the MSB, that's why it will be minus. 0 0.1111 will be 7 by 8. So this is minus 7 by 8. Very good. Two's complement, it is minus 1 by 8. Okay. And one's complement, again, you got a very big problem. 
in my in one's complement the number that you received is minus 0 you were having a number 0 again and now you got a minus 0 so with sign magnitude and one's complement you get two zeros okay one is plus 0 one is minus 0 and in a control system if i'm using a control system for controlling a flight okay and if i'm getting a zero then i will my algorithm will ask me whether this is plus zero or minus zero what should i consider now it's a very dangerous scenario and you are stuck so engineers will not really like while writing a code that whether it should be considered as plus zero or minus zero okay so sine and magnitude and one's complement uh, are not very good representation because they have this basic problem so we will normally use and always every algorithm will use two's complement because you can see there is no two zeros as well there's a provision of minus one which i have not got anywhere in the other two representation method so this uh, problem actually make two's complement the best and attractive solution to be used in the algorithm of DSPs while calculating a negative number. So we will be always going with two's complement negative number system. I hope you have understood uh, what are the three basic ways in which I can represent a negative number and what are two's complement, one's complement and sign magnitude number system. Thank you.